Hey guys, it is another Dollar Tree Mystery Unboxing. Whoop, whoop. So this is curated, curated, curated for me by my friends Donna and John. Uh, so we get an extra bonus level with this box of trying to guess is this something selected by Donna or is this selecting something by John? Because it'll be very interesting to see. They also were kind enough to provide their own box. They boxed it all up for me um, and sealed it pretty well instead of me giving the bag to my sister to put into my little unsealing box. So, boom, here. Let's get into this. Um, if you've seen the other videos or anything like that, you know the deal. I give $10.50 to each of my friends, and I say, hey, go to the Dollar Tree, buy me 10 items. The whole store is up for grabs, so it's whatever they may want to grab. Let's get this bad boy open and see what Donna and John have curated for me today. Um, ugh. I'm terrible at opening it. Okay, I got it. I got a flap open. It's fine. We got this. It's fine. All right. My sister's going to yell at me because I've knocked the camera and it's all wiggly wobbly, wibbly wobbly, wongy wongy, whatever. All right. First item here we have Wood Shop. Wood Shop. Oh, it's a wind chime with a cat. Oh my gosh. How cute is that? Um, huh. Oh, and it's a, it's not just a cat, it's a catacorn. A cat unicorn, oh my gosh. That is so cute, oh, I love it. Um, It's really hard to decide if this was Donna or John. Cause we just did some one acts at the theater and John wrote a one act about cats. But Donna also loves cats. I'm going to take this and I'm going to put this on the Donna side for now. That may change. But for right now, I think this is a Donna selection. That seems like her. Okay. Let's see. What's, uh, what is this? Okay. Scouring sponges. I do need some new scouring sponges. Um, I hate doing the dishes, but... You do need them to do the dishes. So, okay. Um, I'm going to put that fully in the John side. I'm fairly certain that was a John choice there. Okay. What have we got next? Out of the... Okay. Very useful tool from the Dollar Tree uh, funnel. So, put oil in the car or what have you. Um, that is actually a very practical choice. And again, I'm going to say this is a John choice. This seems seems very, uh, very thoughtful and like a guy kind of pick. Not to seem sexist or anything, but I feel like perhaps that was him. Ooh, we've got another DVD. What? Um, cause my aunt gave me a DVD in her back box and I was not quite knowing that there were DVDs at the Dollar Tree. Okay, this is called The God Inside My Ear. And I think it's a documentary. I mean, it kind of looks like it is. It's very interesting. Kim's going to look at it and then she's going to tell me and I'm going to grab the next thing from the box while she does that. <gasps> it's a fan. It's not just a fan. It's like all green and emeraldy and fabulous. Uh -huh. I love it. I think this is a Donna pick. I think the fan is definitely her kind of choice. Green is an excellent color for me. I think she would know that. I'm going to say that was a Donna pick. Kim is still investigating that um, to tell me what it is. <gasps> He's so cute. It's like a, it's a little so soft heart pillow. And it's got the res reversible sequin. Ooh. Not sequins. Sequin. Yes. It's a sequin heart with the reversibles. Um, I think like this seems like perhaps something too girly for John to have picked. So I think this is 
probably going to go in the Donna side as well. Um, I don't know if that's going to change or not, but we'll see. This extra bonus game. Oh, it's making it tough. Oh, okay. Ooh. <gasps> Mermaids are my spirit animal. This is perfect. Absolutely. Yes. How cute is that? I love it. And it's all shiny, sparkly. I'm going to say that's definitely a Donna choice right there. Absolutely. 100%. The DVD, which Kim has not determined what it her, is. Her boyfriend left her, so she went crazy. Oh, her boyfriend left her, so she went crazy. It's not a documentary. It's actually a fiction movie. That sounds very interesting. I'm going to put that in the Don, the John pile. Don pile? The John pile, because um, this seems right up his alley. He likes odd things. Um, he generally directs Night of the Living Dead. He's into that. So I think this is definitely in his wheelhouse. We're going to put that in the John pile. So we've got three for John, four for Donna. So let's see what else we have in the box. Something might have to change sides. We'll see. Um, what is this? It's like a little, oh, it's a pencil sharpener. Look at that. Little cute pencil sharpener. Is that a seal on there? I think it's a seal. It might not be. It looks like a seal, kind of. No. It's sleeping. Zzz. That's what he says, because he's sleeping. That's a really odd pencil sharpener. It like, it's, oh, it's, it, there we go. It's like a big piece in front of it. It's for four-year-olds and up, so it's good for me. Um, that's a really hard... I don't know if I if I say this is Donna, then that's the last thing Donna and everything else in the box is John. But I don't I don't know that that should be my deciding factor. Um, it is a pencil sharpener, which is fairly practical. I mean, with that in the John side for the moment, so we'll see. I'll have to let you guys know later after I um contact them to see who is who okay we have a little mini holy bible going on um hmm i don't know who this would be maybe donna she feels a bit more spiritually inclined i don't Oh, that's a really hard one to figure out. Okay, so there should be one more item in the box. Here we go. Okay. This is a teething ring. It, it, but it's Elmo, and that's super cute. Um, and that's fun. I was not expecting that. I don't, I don't have children or babies. I actually, in fact, don't really even like babies. I love kids, but I don't really like babies. Um, I'm not sure what purpose I'll have for a teething ring. Maybe my cat Dorian could use it. I don't know. Um, I think this is a John. Like, this is definitely kind of odd and out there. And I feel like his choices are more odd and out there. So I'm going to say that's the John choice. So what I think is from John is the teething ring, the funnel, the scouring pads, the very interesting movie. That's the right way, yeah. And the pencil sharpener. Then from Donna, I I'm positive that this is from Donna. That the the mermaid glass is from Donna. Pretty sure the heart pillow is from her. Uh, the fan is definitely a Donna thing for sure. The Bible process of elimination seems like from Donna. And then I think the kitty cat woodworking thing is from Donna too. The, the woodmill, the windmill. So there we go. I will let you guys know in the end who they were from. If I was right, if I was wrong. Um, this extra level of guessing is like so much on top of it. Uh, and that's it. So if you stay to the end of the video, do that whole ding, 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 like thing, hit the subscription bell. Why not? I mean, you stayed for this one. You'll probably want to come watch some more, right? 
And if you did stay till the end, but you don't like it, what the heck are you doing here? It's an awful lot to sit through.